I should have checked with mom. You good? Are you sure? This is this is the right one. You sure? He hasn't even called me. Not to say one thing. So I'm feeling like he has something to do with it. Ever, ever, ever be forgotten. <laughs> you will never be forgotten. This is the story of Cheryl Pringle, aged 40, a beautiful woman who was killed by her abusive boyfriend, Bruce Mabin, age 44, for trying to leave him. She had gone on a date with him not knowing he had very bad things planned for her that night. She went missing but her family and friends would later find her body themselves after two days of frantic search. This all happened out of jealousy, insecurity, false accusations, and wanting to control Cheryl. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Well, the boyfriend of a Woburn woman who was found dead after they went out on a date is now charged with her murder. This story will be taking us to the city of Woburn. Woburn, Massachusetts is a city located nine miles north of Boston. Woburn, Massachusetts is an industrial, suburban city with a population of about 40,000 people. It's a small city located in the upper Mystic River Valley, occupying 13.1 miles of the Fells Upland. Today the city is known for its industry and is home to several high-tech and pharmaceutical companies. Cheryl Michelle Pringle, aged 40, was a mother of two from Woburn, Massachusetts. She received her early education in the public schools of the Chittick Elementary School. She then went on to attend Solomon Lewenberg Middle School and graduated from West Roxbury High School. She went on to further her education in higher ed by attending Roxbury Community College where she received her associate's degree in business. Sherelle was so driven and went on to obtain her bachelor's degree at UMass, Boston with a focus in fashion design. Sherelle was described as a very sweet, easygoing and loving person. She was employed for over 10 years at the Steward Medical Group in Watertown, Massachusetts. She was devoted to her children, who are 18 and 20 years old. She also had a boyfriend named Bruce Mabin, who was 44 years old and lived in Lynn, Massachusetts. They had been dating for about a year and a half, but their relationship was not a happy one. Bruce Mabin, the abusive boyfriend. According to Sherelle's family and friends, Bruce was abusive and controlling towards Sherelle. He would constantly call and text her, monitor her whereabouts, and accuse her of cheating on him. He also had a criminal history that included charges of assault and battery, drug possession, and larceny. Sherelle's family tried to convince her to leave him but she was afraid of what he might do to her or her children. She also hoped that he would change and treat her better. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? On Saturday, December 18, 2021, Sherelle told her son that she was going out with Bruce for the night. She said she would be back the next day, but she never returned home. Her son became worried and tried to contact her, but he couldn't reach her. He also called Bruce, who claimed that he didn't know where Sherelle was and that they had an argument and parted ways. He said he last saw her at a gas station in Saugus, Massachusetts. Sherelle's son reported her missing to the Woburn police on Sunday, December 19. He also posted on social media asking for help in finding his mother. He said he had a bad feeling that something terrible had happened to her. He also said that Bruce was lying about his story and that he was responsible for Sherelle's disappearance. The police began to investigate Sherelle's case, but they didn't seem to make much progress. They interviewed Bruce as a person of interest but they didn't arrest him or charge him with anything. They also searched the area where Bruce said he last saw Sherelle, but they didn't find any trace of her. Meanwhile, Sherelle's family and friends decided to take matters into their own hands. They organized their own search party and went to look for Sherelle themselves. They drove around Saugus and nearby towns, following leads and tips from people who claimed to have seen Sherelle or her car. They also printed flyers with Sherelle's picture and information and handed them out to anyone who might have seen her. All this time, Bruce Mabin who was supposed to help in the search only posted one time on social media and did not even bother to contact her family. 
On Tuesday, December 21, two days after Sherelle went missing, her relatives made a horrifying discovery. They found Sherelle's body in a marshy area off Route 107 in Saugus, near the gas station where Bruce said he last saw her. They called the police and reported their finding. The police arrived at the scene and confirmed that it was Sherelle's body. They said she had signs of trauma on her body and that foul play was suspected in her death. It is a heartbreaking end to what had become a desperate search for 40-year-old Sherelle Pringle. His family was driving down Route 107 in Saugus today. They saw a a haunting clue on the side of the road. Seen a purse on the side of the road, and then they re they just came back around and basically started walking and just digging through the woods. Through the, woods. the Woburn mother's body was found in a marshy area. She was last in touch with family on Saturday when they say she went out with a man she was dating. Her son says he had reservations about him. I should have did that. I should have checked with mom. Are you good? Are you sure? This is, this is the right one, you short. He hasn't even called me, not to say one thing. So I'm feeling like he has something to do with it. Investigators say foul play is suspected in Pringle's death, but they are not talking about possible suspects in the case as devastated family and friends push for answers. I love you and you would never, ever, 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 ever be forgotten. <laughs> you will never be forgotten. Justice is going to be served, too. Sherelle's family and friends were devastated by the news. They broke down in tears and hugged each other as they mourned their loss. <laughs> they also expressed their anger and frustration at the police for not doing enough to find Sherelle sooner. They said they felt like they had to do the police's job for them. They also demanded justice for Sherelle and accused Bruce of killing her. But we found her. On Wednesday, December 22, the police announced that they had arrested Bruce Mabin in connection with Sherelle's death. They charged him with larceny over $1,200, tampering with evidence, and obstruction of justice. They did not charge him with murder yet, but they said he remained a person of interest in the homicide investigation. On Thursday, December 23, Bruce appeared in court for his arraignment. He pleaded not guilty to the charges against him and was ordered held without bail until his next court date on Tuesday, December 28. As he was led out of the courtroom, Sherelle's family and friends shouted at him, calling him a murderer and a coward. They also chanted, Justice for Sherelle Pringle, and We Found Her. Sherelle's family and friends said they would not rest until Bruce was convicted of killing Sherelle. They said they wanted him to pay for what he did to her and to suffer the same way she did. Bruce Mabin later appeared before a judge for a dangerousness hearing some days later when prosecutors updated the charges against him. He has now been charged with the murder of Sherelle Pringle. First here at 4.30, a Lynn man is now charged with the murder of a Saugus woman. Prosecutors had charged him with other crimes in relation to her death. The woman had been reporting missing by her family. And now officials say this man is responsible for her murder. Seven Steve Cooper has more. And I would suggest that any identification today... Surrounded by court officers, this was supposed to be a dangerousness hearing for Bruce Maben here in Lynn District Court until the suspect was charged with murder. Mr. Maven, you're charged with murder in Saugus on 12-19-21. Maven pleading not guilty to the murder of 40-year-old Sherelle Pringle back on December 19th of last year. Pringle's distraught family was in the courtroom to watch the proceedings. I got some bodies there. I believe this is the missing female. It was that same family that found her body in a marsh off Route 107 in Saugus two weeks ago, 48 hours after they found her cell phone in a sewer drain in Lynn. The government moved to detain Mr. Maven as a danger pursuant to 58A, as well as revoke his bail pursuant to 58B. I did talk to Ms. McDougall this morning. I'm not objecting to detention at this point. 44-year-old accused killer was the last person with Pringle before her body was discovered. The couple had been dating. Sources say she was stabbed to death and the car Maven was last seen in was found torched. The judge ordering Maven held without bail. On the new matter, you'll be held without bail. Our deepest condolences to the families of Sherell. We do hope they get the justice they are hoping for. May Sherell's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.